Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Colleen's Craft Corner. This morning, we're going to make friendship bracelets. So all you need is embroidery thread or baker's twine. String, really, you need string. But like small string. You could probably do it yeah. with yarn, like if you wanted. That's what I'm going to do. Because <laughs> why not? It'll just be thicker. Because okay. I, I discovered, I was like, I have like embroidery thread, but I only have this much. That's not enough. I don't think that'll be enough. That's so. Not enough. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do the ideas that they'll be Disney themed. Um, as Shannon had said to me, or maybe someone else, I don't know who I talk to anymore. Like, like the Disney <laughs> rounding, like picking out like Disney rounding S colors. Did you say that? I don't know. I don't know. I have bracelets I made out of rubber bands that are like Disney bound yeah. colors. You can see I have one that's like already ready and it's Mickey Mouse colors. I did white, yellow, black, and red. Um, and then I'm going to set up another one to be like Rapunzel colors. So Ooh. pick out what colors you want. You want to have at least six strands. Um, you can see like here I have more. You can have more. You don't really want to have less. It'll be really thin. I mean, if you want it to be really thin. Um, and if you don't want to wear a bracelet, they make good bookmarks. Huh. So that is also good. Uh, as you can see, Allison's like legit and is using a ruler. <laughs> she was like, how long? And I'm like, I don't know, really long. You'd rather the, where my the pieces are. are too long and then they end up too short and then like they can't wrap around your wrist. So I don't know, I'm oh, just like, oh, really long. So I'm going to start to like, look, that's like really long, but you know, better too long. This is just what's left of this thread, so I'm just going to cut it in half and be like that. That'll be my starting point. I'm going to get some light purple. I think you said about two and a half feet was that, your... That was my guess when I held it up and looked at it. Okay. That seems I'm right. very exact. You all haven't noticed. Um, <laughs> I did. Yeah, I did about two and a half feet. You know, the worst that'll happen is it's really long, but that's better than it's really short and um, you can't do anything. Yeah, I hope my, yours looks longer than mine. I hope I hope it works. You're probably fine. I'm just okay. I'm just like, oh, it's really long. Whatever. Like this purple one, it's just, <laughs> oh, this is what's left of the string. So I'm just cutting it in half. Shannon, you're in charge of YouTube. OK. Um, Mandy said, don't tell my cat I'm playing with string. <laughs> <laughs> um, someone asked, how do we set it up the way you have it set up? I'm going to get to that. And do... I'm cutting out my other yeah. string first. OK. OK. I haven't picked a character yet, so. Well, Shannon, you um, better get on that. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking about, like, what colors I have. Yeah, I mean, I have every color known to man, so I <laughs> had to be like, what well, color would I like to do today? I'm, I'm very tangled up. Oh, no. Dark purple. Yeah, careful, it gets tangled real easy. Oh, oh no, oh no. <laughs> okay. So far I have purple, red, green, and does anybody want to guess what my character or theme is She's for my bracelet? Purple, red, and green? Mm-hmm. Is it Ariel? And then I have... It is! Do aerial ah. colors. And then I'm going to have a bunch of blue to represent the water. I don't have green. That would make it a lot easier. There's a lot of characters with green. I've got yeah, like red, right. purple, white, gray. Let's see. I 
I've only done a friendship bracelet once, and that was very recently. And I think I mentioned that on uh, the other Colleen's Craft Corner that I did. And I did um, I did purple, yellow, orange, and pink, and it was uh, figment colors. Ooh. Nice That's to good. One to my mom. Okay, so what you can once you cut all your string, tie a knot at the end. And it's six pieces of string, right? At least, or more. Okay. Or more. I mean, yeah, oh, I you got can six. Have it be really wide, if you want. So I tied a knot. I'm gonna double knot it just for, you know, extra security. Oh. That didn't work quite the way I wanted, that's fine. Okay, so then what works best is to take a piece of tape, and like that's what I've done right here, is I put a piece of tape like right over the knot, and then I've taped it down to the table so that that holds it steady. Okay. And that way like it stays in place. And then I wanna separate out my colors so they're so I have them in like two by two. So like you could do, I have like two strands of each color. If you wanted all six strands to be a different color, you could have it be a rainbow. If you want to do three strands of one color and three strands of another color, you could do that. You know, how, you, what colors you want to use in like what order is up to you. But you want to lay them out like what order you want them to go in. So, oh, it's the opposite from what you see versus what I see. But I've got white, <laughs> yellow, black. And we're going to have what sort of a pattern are we are we doing? Or is it just going to be kind of stripes? Stripes. We're going to start with stripes. Okay. And then I will show um, how to do a, like a chevron pattern as well. Oh. That's what I tied up my Rapunzel for. So we'll oh, start with this one. Okay. I'm going to do red, purple, and gray. Um, so if someone has a suggestion of what Disney character that could be. That's just what colors you have? Yeah. That's cool. It doesn't have to be a Disney <laughs> I character. Thought, this is sort of how we're yeah, tying I mean, it in. Uh, we have a Disney website. <laughs> okay. I thought I had, like, another color, too, but. So I'm going to start. So just keep in mind what you see is upside down from what I am doing. And I don't know how. Oh, well, let me see if I can turn it. Because that would probably help. <laughs> so I'm doing three of three colors, three of each. Whoa! How do I make it like... Nope. Nope. <laughs> Trying to get it to be like... Uh-huh. To be even? Yeah. There you go. That's, yeah, okay. Good. Now it'll look like what it looks like to me. <laughs> okay. Wild. You've got all your strings separated out in whatever order you want them to go in. So you take your first string. i got to make sure I'm under the camera. You're going to kind of draw a four. You know, I don't want to get my clipboard. So it's over top, it's like this, and then you're going to loop under. So, did everyone see? I looped around the string. Okay, so I got my first string, it's on, it's crossed on top. Crossed on top, and then go under okay. and up. Under and up. Okay, got it. And then you're just going to pull the knot. Not like too tight, but all the way up to the top. Okay. Oh, I have so much string. Yeah, that's. <laughs> okay. Nope. Show it to me again. Hold on. Okay. 
I'm taking my first string. To, yeah, you take your first string. Cross over. Yeah. And then over go the under. second string. Then go under. And then you pull it up. And you do that all the way across until your first string becomes your last string. My string uh, came unattached from my clipboard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, clipboard's another way to do it other than tape. Yeah, I was like, oh, I'll do clipboard because then I can hold it up and show, but I don't think that's going to work. I think I'm going to get tape. I have tape right here. I don't have to get up and go get it. But. So you're making your little four shape. Wrapping it around, going all the way across. Okay. So it's the same the same string that I did, yeah. and I'm going to go to each individual color. Yes. Okay. So now that goes to so the side. bring in the first I'm string. Okay. All the, the way first across. row. So you go all the way okay. across. Shannon, ask, check the internet. <laughs> Hold on, I got to catch up. <laughs> I gotta get all my string to stay taped down. Hold on. And then I'm gonna check the chat. Check the chat. I'm gonna move my camera. Hold on a sec. This so, string is so long. This is so much more complicated than making ears. <laughs> this is probably the most like complicated and precise thing that we have done so far. Um, while, you know, you can pick whatever colors you want, you've gotta do it this way for it to work. Um, <laughs> someone said, yep, already did it wrong. Uh, you're only, oh, supposed no. to use the first, <laughs> you're only supposed to use the first string. Yes. Yes. Um, you take, so you start with that first piece. I'm moving on Because to the first row. piece, Mandy this? explained it as like the first string will become the second yes. and then become the, the first third as you're tying. Move all the way across. So whatever string you start with, you want to do that knot until it becomes the last string. So see, I'm doing the knot and I'm just going to move my way across. So, you know, take the whatever string you're knotting with, hold it in your right hand and pretty much just never let go of it. Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh, there's so much string. <laughs> okay. Well, I got a knot. Um, Hold on. Go on oh, no. under. And if you mess up, you know, you can pull the knot out. Um, or, you know, especially if it's at the beginning, like, just, just keep going. A lot of the times, you know, if it's just like, oh, I knotted the wrong string one time, it won't be that noticeable. My yarn does not want to stay. Maybe because it's yarn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, you can kind of see I've got my first stripe here. Yeah. I did my two white strings all the way across. And those knots create that stripe. So then I'm going to start on my yellow. And this is pretty much it. You just do the same thing over and over again until it's done. Yeah. So I'm creating my four shape. I'm wrapping the string under and up and then pulling it into a knot and then that same string I'm taking all the way across. It becomes my second string. Becomes okay. My third string. Mandy said about making mistakes that a true friend won't care. And that's true. Also that. That's Aww. a good. I love. Mandy, thank you for my socks. <gasps> yeah. Those are fun. Socks. Mandy oh, gave me honeycomb I... socks. And a happy administrative professionals day card, which I bet Tom doesn't so even good. know that that's a thing. So thank you, man. 
When I finish this stripe, I'm going to stand up and show the chat my shirt. Oh. Okay. So keep in mind, like, when you get to, like, what was this, so, like, I used this string. This is a string that I knotted and took all the way across. So now it's kind of, like, oddly pointed up. So I'm knotting with this one now, and you just want to, you know, pull that down so that it stays with the others. Mandy said okay. boss's day is in October, but Tom doesn't need to know that. <laughs> Unless he's watching this right now. He's not. Oh, <laughs> anything. He'd have no idea. So yeah, so you can see I've got three little rows so far, and I'm just going to keep going. Now something to keep in mind, because of the way this works, your bracelet is going to start to curl on itself. Because of the okay. way we're like twisting the strings, it's going to want to become a coil. So as you get farther down, and when that starts to become annoying, either just move your piece of tape down or get another piece of tape to hold it in place. And a lot of the oh, times when I'm done with a bracelet, I will tape both ends to something to try to flatten it out, or else it wants to be a coil. I don't think my first row turned out so well, but that's OK. And you want to you know, pull your knot tight, but not like too tight, because then it'll become too small. And then it's not, you can't see the colors as well. And this is it. You just do this for like three hours. <laughs> is there anybody in the chat that's also making the brace bracelets with us that wants to share like their characters or the colors yeah. that they're using? Talk to us because I got no more instructions. This is it. <laughs> <laughs> I saw people earlier saying some colors, but I was distracted by how difficult this is. <laughs> and once you like once you get into it, you can kind of just do it without thinking about it. You just it becomes yeah. like automatic. So you can see I've done like two rows. So I don't know if you can really tell, but so one of my knots I kind of tied too tight. So like the red got pulled up into Oh, I see. So like if you tie it too tight, then it the other color will get like kind of pulled up into it as you've created a tight knot. So that's why you don't want to pull it too tight. And as you can also see, mine is already starting to like curl. Like it just made the yellow stripes and the yellow string wants to move over here. Um Shornfor said my colors are two different pretty blues, so maybe Elsa. Cool. Ah. Um Someone said blues and whites. Um, Mandy asked, how do you do the chevron pattern? You're going to do that after we do this one, right? I'm going to, yeah. I'm going to do like a couple rows of this one so you can really see what it looks like. And then I will do the chevron pattern. Um, I'm making a black and yellow one with my daughter. She's a Hufflepuff. Could also be bee ah. themed. Absolutely. Oh. I meant to bring in... I have like finished ones as examples, and they're all uh, Hogwarts house colors. Um, but I forgot. Um, how do you keep track of the left red and the right red, or the left yellow and the right yellow? Someone asked, etc. So I just try to keep them like as spaced out from each other as possible, so that like they don't overlap. Um, so I can tell which direction I'm going in um, and which thread is next. And like I said, Elizabeth said, you go ahead. What? Finish what oh, you were saying. Um, and then whatever string like you're using to make knots, I kind of try to never really let go of it. So you're like, this is the string that I'm using. Um, Elizabeth said, I make two knots instead of just one around each string, and that helps it 
to not curl as much. Oh, see, we all learn new things every day. Oh, are you not supposed to do two knots? I've been doing two knots the whole time. You can do two knots. Oh, okay. Either way. I'm in. Either way. This is how... Just takes a little bit longer, I guess, I mean, but... Just takes a while. This is how Maybe. I learned. I was a summer camp counselor at a Girl Scout camp. Um, but I'm sure there are other ways to do it. There are, like, complicated... Like, you can make hearts and stuff in them. If you really wanted Ooh. to, I bet you could make a Mickey head. But uh, the one oh, time yeah. I attempted to make hearts didn't go super well. <laughs> I figured we'd start that... with stripes and uh, chevron pattern. But after I finish this raw, I'm going to start making two knots and see how that goes. <laughs> what I did was I actually took a picture of the order that my strings are in just in case I like leave and like come back and it i accidentally like move them so i can kind of remember wait you can see i've got three rows white yellow and black huh. and it's curling in on itself because that's what it does you aren't tied down to just one way oh. <laughs> That's what must be Joe King said. <laughs> so, like, I used to tape these to the back of, like, notebooks um, and work on them, you know, in class. <laughs> Shouldn't do that, but... I was a bad kid. I wasn't a bad kid. I was a great kid. But if you're getting all A's, everybody leaves you alone. <laughs> so how did the, the, the puppets come out? I wasn't there for the sock puppets. Pretty good. I mean, you know, a basic sock puppet is pretty easy to make. Um, I showed everyone my like weird getaway that I make, you know, face puppets. <laughs> I don't think they're very impressive, but everyone really wanted to know. <laughs> so, did you end up making a specific character from your sock puppet? I made a Bob Iger puppet because we didn't have a Yay. Bob Iger puppet, so that seemed like yeah the thing we were missing but you could do any face we did talk about um you know doing a whole puppet show yes as in a whole news tonight but they're all puppets yes and i was <laughs> like wow like you guys want me to work <laughs> yeah, you gotta put nick and everybody. nathan to work making their own puppets Mom is posting emojis in the chat in response to being a great kid. Also, our dad. It's a Sunday. They're probably just sitting next to each other on their iPads at home. I, Mom, Aww. I know I told you to watch everything, but didn't I tell you to have it on in the background and you didn't actually have to watch it? <laughs> just being very supportive. She is. Okay. She, she did the laugh crying emoji. Let me show my shirt real quick while I'm thinking about it. It says, Aww. let's love bees. Bees. I'm like having a hard time finding. So there you go. It's kind of out of focus. You can see I've got a white, a yellow. Oh, I keep losing the camera. A black and a red stripe. And you just do that over and over and over again. Until you're done. Someone said, which Muppet would each WDWNT person be? Well, I'm Kermit. I know you'd want to be like Tom, but no, because Kermit organizes <laughs> stuff. 
<laughs> or maybe I'm Scooter then. Like if you go back to yeah. the your scooter. original show and Scooter was like stage manager. Mm hmm. I'm Gonzo. He's Why my favorite, Gonzo? so I, I just like Gonzo. So <laughs> Maybe like Nick's Gonzo, I don't know, in chickens or young women. <laughs> <laughs> well. Who's wandering around like a know it all? <laughs> um, I don't know. Sam Eagle? Nathan kinda. is Sam Eagle then. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So now I we're think gonna I'd make... be Beaker. Pete could be animal. Oh yeah. Yeah, someone or said Dr. T. I pictured <laughs> someone said I pictured Colleen as Scooter and Thomas Kermit, but Grouchier. Um I'm wondering if Nick could be Fozzie. Nathan is Sam Eagle for sure. Um, Nick could be Fozzy. That wouldn't be bad. Nick could be Fozzy. Okay. We'll get on that on the Muppet Show. So I'm gonna make my chevron one. So same thing. You wanna separate out all your strings so you can see them really well. But you want to think of it as, you know, you're going to make a stripe coming in from each side. So you kind of have it divided in half. So like I have two dark purples on each side, a pink on each side, and a light purple on each side. So like the two dark purples, it'll make a thicker stripe and then two thin stripes. And again, you can divide out your colors any way you want. How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight's good for like doing a chevron. You want obviously more strings because um, you need like double the amount to make the stripes the same amount of thickness. So if you want a stripe like a two string thickness, uh, then you need to have two on each side. So I'll start with my dark purple on one side and it's the same motion, that four shape. Oh, I'm getting tangled with my other bracelet. Hold on. <laughs> I make my knot. I move on to the pink one. I make um, my knot. The light purple. And I make my knot. And then I stop. Um, Shorn Forest said, when Pete and Nick do liquid magic, they're Bunsen and Beaker. Oh yeah. <laughs> but which one? Also, speaker? I. I don't. They're. I don't know. They're both speaker. Um, also, our dad said about your current bracelet that those are all the same color. Oh, our dad's colorblind. Like real That's bad. So. Like I've been to the eye doctor with Jeff, and they're like, "Wow, I've never met anyone this colorblind." Oh no. That's hilarious. Uh, he, his favorite color is red, I think just because it's bright, and he's like, that's red. But orange is also <laughs> red, and pink is red, and a, a, like a, red, red a warm right purple is red. Basically, there's like red, yellow, and blue, and everything else just looks like a shade of that. And black and white. So. Okay, my chevron. So I did the one side, and so my dark purple became the middle. So now I'm going to come from the other side. So you're doing the same motion, but in reverse. I made my knot. I'm going up. And then when you get to the middle, and so you have your two strings that started on the outside and are now in the middle. You just kind of tie them in what would, you know, like a normal knot together. Oh, all my strings came up. And careful not to go too tight with that. And so then that's it. You just do that over and over and over again. So what do you do when you get to the end? Like the end of the bracelet? Yeah. 
You tie it in a knot. You just tie it. You just tie them together. Yeah. If you have enough like string left over, so like if you've made it so the strings are long enough, I would use this. So like tie it in a knot, and then have a gap, and tie another knot. So basically, you have like a loop in there. So you're not at the beginning. You can put in the loop, and then it's like a clasp of some sort. If that makes sense. Okay, I'm going to make another chevron row. Things got kind of tangled. Um, oh, <laughs> I lost track of a string for a moment there. I mean, sometimes that happens. You're like, oh, I'm doing this, and then it's like, wait, what string was I doing? And the worst that'll happen is that like you have an extra knot. Oh, yeah. And I've also got my headphones over this, so they're going to get tied in here at some point. <laughs> Using a similar technique. I once covered a pair of headphones in embroidery thread. Sorry, I'm checking for a notification. It's just Tom. It's just Tom. It's not important. <laughs> So no, with you the don't chevron pattern, it's like extra important to keep your strings apart because you're coming from two different directions and you don't want to lose track of the strings in the middle, especially if they're like the same color. You want to know, like, which was the ones I just yeah. did. So could you do the like could you do like the stripe pattern and then move on to the chevron pattern and then go stripes again or is that gonna kind of no, make it a I little don't see wonky? No, any reason why you couldn't do that. Hmm. Like you just have to keep in mind like okay, I've done this color and your stripes are gonna end up different in a way. So you'd have to do that. So if you're having if you had two thinking like two lengths of green, you'd want to do it so like one length has ended up on the other side and one is on each side if you want the chevron to be one color. You could do it Got so it. that like each half of the chevron is a different color. Mm -hmm. You know, that can be a whole thing too yeah. where like you have different colored threads so like each half of the bracelet is totally different. Hmm. That be actually sounds kind of neat. I had to abandon my tape and go for like a clip because it was just it it just kept it wasn't good. Yeah. <laughs> That happens. I would usually, I usually ended up like taping it to the back of a notebook. Um, but I've used like a clipboard too. That works well. I have a clipboard, but it's easiest for people to be able to Let see what see I'm if doing. I can if it is taped. To show the my setup. Ah. Huh. Yes, there we go. Cool. Oh, you're just going to be wide. Be a well, bookmark. It's yarn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it can be, like, I said baker's twine, because that's a similar, like, width as embroidery thread. But, yeah, I mean, mm. yarn, string, twine would be itchy if you'd, like, normal twine. But if you wanted yeah. it to be, you know, just string of some sort, really. Um, I think some people in the chat are using ribbon. That would work, too. Would yeah. Work. Oh. I'm curious to see how the ribbon ones would turn out.
Okay, I will say, if you're like me and you're like, I'm just gonna cut my strings really long, then you kinda, they're really long and they get in the way. <laughs> but, yeah. But I have made bracelets have... that ended up too short. So I'm like, better safe than sorry. I'm moving my strings around so it's like, the first one and the last one are always looped on the handle of my desk drawers. That makes sense. And the two in the middle are over uh -huh. my shoulders. <laughs> That's a good idea. But if it's if it ends up being too short, I feel like you could turn it into something else. Like you could turn it into some kind of little bookmark tassel or something, yeah. if, if anything. Yeah. yeah, totally. Okay, so I think, guys, let me know. Can you see my like chevron stripes? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, that's pretty. And you just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> I realize now this is going to be a really boring show because I'm like, well, that was it. That's what you do. <laughs> Mandy said, I'm getting an arm workout. Like, yeah. It, it, when you, if you keep doing this, I mean, because, you know, if you do a lot or you make one really long or really elaborate and it can take hours, like, your arms get tired. Yeah. And you're really out of shape. <laughs> Yeah, I'm starting to get the hang of this. Been indoors yeah, for once a month. you get into a rhythm, it's really pretty easy. Yeah. And you just keep going, and you're just doing the same motion over and over and over again. Thank you. Bless you. Thank you. Guys, there's something in the ceiling. Is it gelatoni? No. Gelatoni's on the oh. I could just hear something. Probably just. Oh no. Okay, so here's something that can kind of happen. So, like, I wasn't really paying attention, and obviously I pulled my knot too, not too tight. And now it's like the pink has pulled up. So oh. I want to pull down on the pink so that it comes, like, out of the knot. And so it's around it and not like a normal knot where they're tied together. Mm. If that makes any sense, what I just said. It does, yeah. And I think, was it Mandy who was like, if they're really a friend, they won't care? So true. Also, they're called friendship bracelets, but you can keep it. <laughs> <laughs> I am my own best friend. I think the last else. time I made ones, I worked on a show... I don't know if I've mentioned this, but like, so I did theater in school and I did, I was a professional stage manager before working here. Um, and I did a show that was about. You're still a professional stage manager. <laughs> yeah, so you're more like a, just a pup, it's just a puppet stage manager now. No, I'm just, now I'm just stage managing YouTube shows. Um, <laughs> but we did, I did this show about camp. And so it was about like a camper and a camp counselor and, you know, the parent, the camper goes missing and, you know, whatever. It's all fine. Aww. It's very dramatic. Uh, but <laughs> because it was about camp, I made everybody bracelets for opening night. Oh, did that take forever? It did. It did. But like, <laughs> it wasn't a very complicated technical show. So I didn't have a lot to do during like tech rehearsals. So I just sat backstage and made bracelets. It's a good backstage yeah. activity. I mean, yeah. you can't see super well, so you might need to have like a light on your clipboard or something, um, or just not care about what order the colors are in. But it's a like simple, you know, it doesn't take like a lot of attention. You can just stop doing it, walk away. Once I did a show, and I think I read, you know, 30 books. Oh, oh wow. yeah, I remember During the run of the show. I read... All the Sherlock Holmes books, the novels, Ooh. all the short stories, everything. There, I went to a Sherlock Holmes um, exhibit uh, when I went back um, 
north to to visit my friends and it's really really good they give you like this little booklet and then you go around and you're supposed to they have like scenes set up and you're supposed to like look at like angles of like like measure bullet angles and look at different seeds and look at like footprints and then you stamp it what which one you think it was and then at the end you're supposed to hold the punched out card up to like this like newspaper clipping and if you got it right it gives you a secret message that's cool yeah i gotta do that man i'm into sherlock holmes shannon it's one of my big things college yes web series based off my idea would like to say (laughs) your idea of me playing sherlock holmes and you playing minecraft holmes i said gender ben sherlock holmes I came yes. up with all oh. uh, I like So Shannon that. was so, Sherlock. Um, Sherlock was the only name we didn't change. We were like, Sherlock Holmes has to be Sherlock Holmes. Yeah. yeah. I was Myra, who was named Myra. Cool. And Watson then, was um, Jamie. Jamie Watson. Oh, there's a knock on the door. Oh, I like that. Who wants in? If you want to watch my show, it's The Adventures of Jamie Watson and Sherlock yes. Holmes. I finished all the six colors of my thing, of my bracelet. So I finished my first, like, six rows. So I'll show it. Oh, yeah, I just finished like. mine, too. It's not, it's not perfect. But... Yeah, mine is way thicker than that. <laughs> oh, look at yours. Yeah. So that is my first six rows because I started with gray. I would not recommend using yarn, but... Um... <laughs> um... So it's, it's going okay, though. I think it's fine. Just need to kind of Who I mean mind that curl thing. My friend Jennifer played Moriarty and she was Gemma Moriarty. We didn't gender bend every character, oh. but um because like Irene Adler was still a girl. Mm-hmm. Um but yeah. I mean there really aren't a lot of recurring characters in the actual Sherlock Holmes stories. Mm. Um then we had uh, Jennifer Lestrade was D.I. Lestrade. Well, yeah, originally the idea was, like, we'd switch every character, but then you find it's a lot harder to find boy actors than girl actors. Yeah. I was like, what if (laughs) every character's a girl? Yeah, that's true. (laughs) Well, and Irene Adler is such a, like, a character that's so centered on, like, being a woman. I mean, that makes more sense in, you know, the Victorian era, her story, but, like, was kind of like, I don't want to make her a boy. Girls are better. <laughs> Mom and dad are going grocery shopping. Bye. Yes. Bye. Yeah, I saw they texted us to say bye. Okay. Dad got bored, probably. I, yeah, I can't believe he watched any of it. So there, you can see my chevron. It's very oh, nice. nice. Yeah. So, and so, like, I did, you know, three different colors, and just the dark purple is, like, a thick stripe, but you could do all thick stripes. You could have all sorts of varying patterns. Our dad said he finished his bracelet, so. Oh, okay. It was all one color, stupid. and he's like, I tied a knot, and I'm done. As far as he knows. <laughs> um, and showing for said they like using ribbons so far they're using the skinny ribbon yeah i would think if it was too thick that would be okay. yeah so yeah so that's the chevron pattern let me go back to my nice. mickey for now although you know we both like... finished our first like six rows so we were showing that off while you were at the door yeah this is the landlord i forgot that you know like forever ago <laughs> I was like, hey, could you fix it? But then the world ended and like... no. I'm like, I can take, actually remember to take pictures because, you know. (laughs) 
it's only one thing. Yeah, it's not like I'm just continuing. I'm just, that was it. That was the tutorial. We're done. <laughs> um, yeah, well. So what other sorts of craft? So do you, you does Colleen and Shannon, are you both like... I don't know, because I think Colleen was talking about how, like, you used to, like, do lots of things for Etsy and with, like, your scrapbooks and wreaths and stuff like that. Do you both do that? Yeah, More you make Colleen them? does that. Um, I was making some, like, magnets on Etsy um, with, like, stickers, um, but Colleen is definitely more crafty than me. I tend to pick up crafts and try them and then give up. <laughs> oh, which I think oh. is very relatable to a lot of people. Um, <laughs> but... I'll do that too. Like, um, I just want to have like a variety. So I'll be like super into, you know, adult coloring pages, or I'll be super into, yeah. you know, embroidering things, and I'll be like super into it for like a year and then I'll drop it and then I'll go on to a different yeah. sort of art or craft. Like I like the adult paint by numbers. I love those. I find them very relaxing and they turn out very pretty. And I did that for a long time and then I just dropped it. So I have a whole <laughs> bunch of those things. So eventually I'll get back yeah. to all of the different things, but I kind of like to rotate my stuff. So I, I stay, my mind stays like active and yeah, like, Ooh, new thing. I mean, yeah, I, I definitely like, in high I'll school, just decide, and that's why I, yarn. I like making this right now. So like when Shannon went, moved into her apartment out of college, I made her a wreath for every holiday. I decided I liked Aww. wreaths that year. And I made <laughs> I made a lot of friendship bracelets after that summer I was a camp counselor. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, there was a point where like I asked for Christmas and birthdays and stuff and I got all these adult coloring books for like, you know, Sherlock Holmes and you know, all different things. And I would just sit, um, there was one winter, I was, it was a cold winter, it wasn't here, it was in Maryland. It was cold <laughs> and I was without a job and I sat under our heated blanket in the living room, color. That was my life. Um, Colleen ran a duct tape business before Etsy. I did when I was like OG Etsy. I don't know, sixteen. Yeah, I oh. learned. Oh no, I learned how to make stuff out of duct tape, and I started selling. People it. loved it. People did. Okay, so really, that was also at camp. That was also at camp. If you look, Mostly. you can see I kind of messed up my knots, like I pulled too tight or something, and now. The black is, I'm going to see if I can pull it out. Like that was not great. It'll be fine. Disney Desi said, um, Eric showed a flower made out of park maps yesterday. I thought that would be a good craft corner idea. That's cool. That would oh, honestly be, probably be similar to making duct tape flowers because you used to do that. I did. So like, so I don't remember when we decided Duct, when duct tape became really cool, like, and they started making yeah, colors. Yeah, Disney Justice said, have you seen the prom dresses made of duct yeah, tape? Yeah. Yes. I've had so many Ooh. people over the years send me the prom dress thing, and, like, when I was in high school, and I was like, I'd rather wear a real dress. Um, <laughs> but mostly, you know, it started with duct tape wallets, um, and I made duct tape wallets, and then it was like I made roses were a big thing, um, making, you know, attaching flowers to pens, I've made mm -hmm. a messenger bag out of duct tape, crowns, oh, yeah. a candy bowl, like all sorts of random stuff. Um, and yeah, it was something I did when we were at camp. And I, I think I just camp. had it and like it was stuff that I was like making in downtime. And then people were yeah. like, I want that. And I was like, cool, $5. And me <laughs> and my friend decided to become like your advertisers. They did. And we, we ran around and took orders. And then you were like, you need to stop. I have too many. Yeah, yeah. There was a point where it was like, <laughs> I can't. Like, I've got too much stuff to do. You can kind of see, if you look, oh. like, 
there's a little spot where like I messed up and there's like a little black dot because like the knot ended up too tight but whatever it's fine no one will really notice I'll know but it's doesn't matter <laughs> And the other thing is that if you if you have that dot on that side, you might not be able to see that dot if you flip it to the other side. That's true. That's true. I need another piece of tape. Um, so then, it's funny, so then that year that I was a camp counselor at a Girl Scout camp, and we made friendship bracelets, there, the reason that I like uh, applied for this job was they were going to have a duct tape themed session. Oh. Uh, which I was like... I know how to make stuff out of duct tape. Honestly, I look back and I'm like, I don't know what they were gonna do. Like, they picked these sessions before they hired people, and what if they hadn't found me? Because like, I wasn't a head counselor or anything, but like, I basically ran, you know, that crafting section because it was like I knew how to make stuff out of duct tape. And then they bought us so much duct tape that then I was like teaching all the other counselors, and we had duct tape hidden under our floorboards, and we just made stuff out of duct tape. <laughs> Constantly. Um, that was before I started my Etsy shop too. So, uh, and I made like our final thing we did that se with that session was I gave them the option between making a vest and making flip flops. The kids all wanted to make flip flops, which I was like, why? Like I didn't get that because I was like, <laughs> they're gonna be so thin and flimsy. Like I, but I had a couple kids who wanted to make vests. They were basically waistcoats, waistcoats. Um, and those turned out really cool. And so, like, I made, like, a waistcoat vest, you know. It was really neat. I think I still have that somewhere, maybe. It probably doesn't fit. Huh. But, uh, yeah. Not not so much give with the, the duct tape material. No. Not so, not as much yeah. as cotton. So. I remember no, putting it on, though, because, you know, you were at camp. I wore, like, old baggy t-shirts and baggy shorts, and I put this vest on and I remember a counselor being like Colleen you're a lot smaller than I thought you were I was like thank you because I don't wear anything form fitting because we're in the woods after that summer I was like I don't want children and I'm going to live in a city <laughs> that's not true anymore it's not true anymore um, I would live in a city but I don't think my Siberian husky would go for it She loves Florida, though, and people don't expect that. I mean, she loves pretty much everything. We brushed her yesterday. I mean, yeah. So Snow doesn't like to be brushed, and, like, she'll try and bite you. Oh, no. And she is a very friendly dog. She doesn't try to bite, generally. No. So she was like, I don't, she doesn't like to be brushed, and, uh... This is like petting, but it hurts. Yeah, right? She's like, no, I'm not, not into this. I had a dog that was afraid oh, of the hairbrush. Oh. She's not afraid. I like, think she wouldn't just, get upset, you know, but she would, like, run away. She's got a lot of hair, so, like, I think it just pulls, and she's like, I don't like this game, so no. Um, <laughs> and it takes a long time. It does. So, we... We saw a video. We like to watch husky videos in our free time. And Aww. we saw a video of someone, and they had a lick mat. It's like this plastic thing, and you like spread peanut butter on it, but it's got like, it's like a texture. It's got like ridges and stuff, so it's not easy to like get the peanut butter ah. out of it. And their dog just like calmly licked this while they brushed them. So I bought one of these for $8 <laughs> off Amazon, and we brushed snow, and it was fantastic. <laughs> she was like, I don't think she breathed for a half hour because it was like, I gotta eat this peanut butter. She made the weirdest sounds. There were times you could tell she was like, I don't really want to be brushed, and she'd try to like rotate around it to be like, what if I'm on the other side? But I'm not willing to like leave because I gotta eat this. Peanut no, butter. I gotta eat this peanut butter. Um, and it was hilarious. So we brushed her. I mean, she still got so much fur because she's shedding um, her winter coat, but. Uh, it was a huge improvement on life. Do you maybe want to go over the bracelet basics again for anyone who's joined us? Sure. Since the beginning? Yeah. Hi, if you're just joining us, we're making friendship bracelets. 
So, you want to have at least six pieces of string. You can do more. I have eight on this one. You can have 12. I mean, whatever you want, really. Uh, and you're going to make stripes. So usually I do like two of each color. You could do three of two colors, or you could do four strands of one color and two strands of another color. The color scheme is up to you. So you want to make sure you have your threads nice and separate. You don't want to get them in the wrong order. Too many threads. And I cut the threads really long because I'm like, it's better that your bracelet is too long than it is too short. And if you don't want it to be a bracelet, they also make good bookmarks. So you're going to take string number one. You're holding out your right hand. Pretty much don't let go of it. You create what is sort of a four shape for the next string. Then wrap it underneath. And then you pull it up into a knot. Don't pull too tight, but... And then you just keep going with that string that's in your right hand. And you do that same motion, those same knots, all the way across. And ta-da! You've got a stripe. And then you just keep Ooh. going. That's pretty much it. You just do that motion until you're done. And then you tie it on. <laughs> and it's over. Almost done two sets. You can also tie two knots on each thread, as someone suggested. Um, it'll make the stripe a little bigger and they said it'll help it from curling maybe now that I'm doing it I'm no. like yeah this feels natural and normal maybe this is how it's done <laughs> <laughs> of course now I'm like I don't remember if I've tied two knots or not yeah I'm still only doing one knot um, you got yarn it's huge yeah, yeah. exactly so I'm that's using embroidery I thread. I believe, Allison, you're using embroidery thread, right? Yes, that's right. I got this whole, like, this whole bag of embroidery thread as soon as, like, we were starting to do, like, the self-quarantine thing. I'm like, I'm going to need something to <laughs> occupy myself other than watching movies and being on my phone. I need to do something creative. So uh, I got a whole big bag of embroidery thread so I can embroider anything I wanted to for as as long as I wanted. So yeah, I normally I use embroidery thread, but you could use baker's twine, Shannon's using yarn, um, people in the chat are using ribbon, you know, anything that's string like. <laughs> so yeah, and then yep. you keep doing that knot motion forever. And you can use tape to hold it down yeah, or a clipboard. So you can clip it in a clipboard or like Allison has a binder clip. I have it taped to the table. Shannon's using There's a clipboard. And it'll start, it'll try to curl. Like if you see, like it wants to curl together. Yeah. So I, you know, have it taped and then I start moving a piece of tape down to keep it flat. Yeah, I've been moving mine up through my clipboard. Yeah. So oh, I see. At the top. <sighs> what else can we talk about? I don't know. Can I show off some um, of my other embroidery work? Sure. Yes. I'm going to show off this because I'm very, I'm, this is probably the thing that I'm the most proud of. Oh, wow. That's so cool. That's really nice. So I'm, so I embroidered that. And it took me a very long time because I, I started and I stopped and, and I kept starting and stopping again um, just because, like, you know, life things. Like, 
I moved and I went away for a little while. Um, but yeah, so I did that. There's a whole bunch of different sorts of like embroidery, like patterns and stuff. Uh, it's not the greatest. This is only like my third attempt at embroidering anything. And it took me a long time, but I think it turned out pretty well. And I just kind of sewed little pom poms for the little balloons. balloons. That's cool. Yeah. I love that. So I wanted to show that off. I've never embroidered. I have embroidery thread to make these bracelets. <laughs> cosplay There's, tip. Um, if you have cosplay? cosplay tip for embroidery. Yeah. First of all, if you can just find the fabric with the pattern printed on it, I do that. Um, that's my, like, number one. Uh, you could paint it on. Or, uh, you know, draw it with, like, fabric markers. Shannon was Elsa, and, like, for the boots, she draw, drew Anna. on with Sharpie the pattern on the boots. Or, if you would like it to be raised and you want it to have thread, hot glue, draw with hot glue the pattern, and then you just wrap string around it. Oh, that's a good idea. I have what you... There's... I got this, and you just fill in, you just fill in the lines. Wow. Oh, yeah. So that's all you had to do. It's already printed on there. And you can just, oh, yeah, it's very, this, I mean, getting something like that pre-printed on there, super easy. I was going to see where my um, rubber band loom bracelets are. Guys, so should be I'm feeling the two knots. I definitely think that's what you're supposed to do. You can do it with one knot. Obviously, I've been doing it with one knot. It's fine. But, like, it's kind of like it's it's muscle memory in a way, you know. I I was thinking when it was my husband suggested we do this, and I was like, I don't know if I remember. And then I looked at, like, one picture, and I was like, oh, yeah. And I'm doing it, and I'm like, two knots feels like the right thing to do. But if you're doing one knot, it's not wrong. And, like, Shannon's using yarn, and that's thicker, and doing two. You're not going to want to do two knots. You're only going to want to do one. Mm-mm. But I do remember it's... constantly forgetting if I'd done two knots or one on a piece of string. <laughs> it's very funny how how long we cut the the string, mm -hmm. but I'm already feeling it getting so much shorter. Yeah, I mean it it shortens really fast, which is why I'm like just cut really long pieces because you know you're tying these knots and it condenses together really quickly. Like, I'm gonna go I over, feel like I'm, I'm gonna... like I'm like that's so long, and then now I'm like, oh man, <laughs> was it long enough? I don't even know. I'm gonna go over the chevron again. Yeah. So the other pattern that I was teaching, if you wanted to do a chevron pattern, which is, you know, the V shape, um, and it's the same basic principle. You're just coming from both sides. So again, you want to make sure the strings are nice and separate, especially with this because, you know, it's, and there's ones that are the same color. You want to make sure you're going in the right direction and you're doing the right one. Elizabeth said you can check the back of your bracelet to tell if you've done one or two knots. Ooh. Oh, smart. Why am I teaching this? <laughs> okay. Chevron. So I've got my strings very spread out. Doing the same knot. Do the four shape under, pull up. My second knot. Let's move on to the next one. And now. I'm at the middle, so I'm going to do my two knots, and I'm going to stop. Then I'm going to go on the other side and do the same knot, but in like opposite, you know, direction. My sh four shape, up and under, I'm trying to do it close enough to the camera.
And so now my two pinks are in the middle, and I want to tie them in a knot. I made a V. Uh, separate my strings again. I want to make sure they're all in the right order. I'm going to do another V. Did you find your rubber it's band? It's so much easier than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, I did. Do you want to show that? So, um, this was like in a few years ago. Um, you'd use this like loom to make a uh, rubber band bracelets and I still have a lot, a lot, a lot of rubber bands. Um, so I made a lot of bracelets, um, and a lot of them are like three colors, like a ah. Disney bound character. So this is one of my favorites cause it's Rapunzel and I find that that's pretty recognizable as Rapunzel. Um, and these like, um, you can do different patterns and stuff. Most of mine are like the same pattern with three colors. Um, this is Mickey. Um, let's see. Here's like a different pattern because it's stripes. Um, and it's wider. So that's like with the rubber band looms, you could do like one row with three colors, you could do one more with one color, you could do three rows and make it stripes, um, or you could, can see in the middle there has to be like a one color that like goes all the way across, but. Um, Maleficent. Ooh. Let's see, um, I think that's my aerial, yeah. Except I don't think I had purple at the time. <laughs> Sully. So some of them I have two colors, some of them I have three. I think three was basically like the max you could do with this pattern. And some of them are glow in the dark. Um, I don't know which ones. Oh, this one is. That's not a Ooh. character. That's just a bracelet. <laughs> uh, this one's Belle. The yellow nice. dress, obviously. Um, but yeah, I have a lot of those. Um, so that's a cute thing you can do to make Disney bound bracelets. Um, and since it's a loom, it stays in place on its own. <laughs> ah, very convenient. So, yeah, like that. This is literally, I have a whole thing. This is all just full of rubber bands. <laughs> Different colors. So that was a craft that I got really into for a while. <laughs> Just looking at the chat right now. Colleen, you killed mm -hmm. it at the roast earlier. Many congratulations to you. Thank you. Tom was really mad at me. <laughs> Aww. He was like, that's not how roasts work. I didn't know. But then his <laughs> you are a bee joke was like one of the most popular of the night. And I'm like, see, that was my gift to you. Yep. My mom said that his you are a bee joke was the best joke, which seemed wrong, but fine. So, but thank you. It was the last, it was Jason's fault. Uh, yeah. Jason was like, <laughs> I was bored and so I was writing jokes about Tom and you know during the roast and then i like threw him in our like chat thing and jason was like we need to give colleen a slot and i'm like okay <laughs> i guess like, i'm doing this it. now but i'd like to make it really clear that it was not my idea it was jason jason did So nobody got fired, right? 
Nope, nobody got fired. We all still work here. Tom enjoyed it. Yay. He's happy. That's all that matters. That's good. It was fun, and we uh, got a lot of super chats, we and did. that was great. Thank you for your donations. Yeah, everybody's super generous. Thank you very much. I really like getting paid. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> we we like getting money for our work. <laughs> yes. Most people who work for us have other jobs. Allison, you have a real person job, right? I do have a real person job, yes. I said something like that, and Tom was like, I don't think we should call them real person. This is a real person job, Colleen. And I was like, no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there are some people that, that are on, on staff where this is their job. I think not everybody. Time, other than like our reporters who are not working at the moment, um, there's four of us, not including Tom, who like work full time. It would be me, Jessica, our editor in chief, John, who runs our social media, and Tyler, the graphic designer. We work ah. full time. This is our job. Um, and then Tom. And then the reporters, the Walt Disney World reporters, um, some of them work full time. Some of them have, like, they do this and they have another job. Um, I think both of our reporters in Disneyland, like, they're college students, so they do this and they go to school. Spencer in Japan, he goes to school. Or, or you don't go to school, you sit in your apartment and you go on Zoom. That's the world <laughs> we live in now. My husband's currently at home, and he said he has 50 papers to grade. Aw. Time's out great. Next weekend, we're going to do a Broadway panel. Yes. And yeah. Rob is going to come be on the show. I didn't ask him. Yeah. I told him. <laughs> and it's great, because it's Sunday, and grades are due Saturday. So then I'm like, then you're done. There's no excuse of like, oh, no, I have to grade. <laughs> nope. I'm going to work with you. Rob has worked Broadway. Rob well, so has worked at Broadway. I'm like, you have to come. You're like, really legit. Again. And he was like, what uh -huh. about, I know other people that are like, <laughs> they've, and I'm like, no, you're my husband. You're coming. Uh oh. <laughs> He's like trying to be like, Can I could ask someone for you. I'm like, no, I want you. You. <laughs> so that'll be cool. Next weekend, we're also going to have a Universal Studios panel. Yes. Which will be neat. Um, it was my idea, but I was like, I can't run it because I can only talk to you about Harry Potter. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm going to be on it so I can talk about Harry Potter. But I was like, that's it. I, I've, I've ridden some of the other rides. But Shannon and I go to Universal. We ride Men in Black. And then we go have lunch at the Leaky Cauldron. And like, that's it. Mm. We're in Harry Potter from then on. <laughs> First do you do the day. Harry Potter rides or you just kind of walk around? We'll do the rides, depending on like the lines. Mm. Um, yeah. I haven't ridden Hagrid's because, you know, it just opened Yeah, me neither. So we'd like be in Diagon I Alley have. for the first half of the day and then we'll take the train and go to Hogsmeade and we'll have dinner at the Three Broomsticks. <laughs> I cannot ride the Forbidden Journey ride in the castle. I get motion sick. I have ridden it. Mm. multiple times but like I can't do it anymore so I'll just walk through the line with Shannon and then Shannon will ride it uh, that's yeah. an attraction in and of itself it is Shannon and I one time saw a couple get married <gasps> in the line in the classroom they had like stepped under the uh, fence and they got married it was cool I then we clap. Hold on. You you might have literally seen my coworker get married in the line because my coworker um wed um because she became like ordained for her two friends and married them in the castle. Lesbians? So you very well might have seen those exact people that were her friends. Allison, were they lesbians? <sighs> I don't know. Because ours were the ones we saw were lesbians. Two girls, yeah. I have They're to lesbians. ask. I have to ask. <laughs> it was a couple. Oh, years that's years. hilarious. It was, really cool. it was funny though. It's like they were doing it, and suddenly, like the other people in line, like figure out what was happening. 
And then we're like, we're like oh, we to... should clap. I have to ask now. Now I have to message her. <laughs> it was cool. I was like, man, <clears throat> there was no. No, I guess it. It was built before I got married, right, Shannon? Yeah. Um. Rob didn't want to get yeah. married at Disney. <laughs> <clears throat> I can't imagine why. I don't know. My best friend's mom was like, I thought you were going to be my only opportunity to go to a Disney wedding. <laughs> I was like, well, someday we'll get our vows renewed and it's going to be at Disney. Unless Shannon gets married first and then she can get married at Disney and I won't do a vow renewal there. Because either way, <laughs> I then get to plan a Disney wedding. Which is really what I want, I think, at the end of the day. Yeah, I, you got I married at Disney, you didn't you, want. Allison? Yes, I did. Tell us about that. Um, I uh got married um just a little over a year ago, um, and my ceremony was at Seabreeze Point, which is on the boardwalk. That's near the it's that big white gazebo next next to the ESPN restaurant. Uh huh. And then the reception was in the attic, and a lot of people don't know about the attic because it's it's in the Boardwalk Hotel, and you have mm -hmm. to like go up a couple of floors, and um, you have like signs pointing up there, and it's almost like a little area specifically for like to be rented out, cool. like um like around where the actual like hotel rooms are like where the guest rooms are uh -huh. and if you don't know where the attic is so if you go to jelly rolls and you look up there's like this balcony uh -huh. right above jelly rolls that's part of the attic oh cool so you can go out to the balcony and then there's like a small inside place and it's very small it only accommodates i think it's like 36 people it accommodates so very small little area so out in the balcony um in the evening we were able to watch the uh one of the last illuminations fireworks shows which oh, is very cool. nice and one of our friends um got a recording of illuminations because they wouldn't pump the music into the into the um room so my friend actually put like got a, a recording of it and like we timed it and we pressed play so that it would kind of synchronize to the fireworks oh, that's cool. um and it, it actually worked out pretty well it was it was decently synced up and that's kind of when you you understand like how illuminations you're like oh we're listening to illuminations but now we're watching and all of our guests are like there's nothing to look at right now. There's like five solid minutes where there's no fireworks and yeah. we're just listening to music on the balcony. Like, okay. I'm like, no, there's, there's more. I promise. There's going to, there's going to be more. Um, and you ha it has to be a buffet. They don't, they don't, um, they don't serve just because it's a small area. Mm -hmm. And we kind of let people sit where they care to. So there's enough tables in there for, we only had 20 people. There's enough tables there that people could sit, but there was also a lot of armchairs and couches and like little rocking chairs and stuff in there. It's super cute, very quaint. They have little antique like children's toys and like really old books and stuff decorated cool. in there. And the so the Beautiful. reception was Carousel of Progress themed, so it was it kind of worked with our That's cool. our reception theme. So it was very, very nice. I like, um, yeah, even though Disney cool. is expensive, it is very one-stop shop. So you don't have to organize so many people and, and companies. Like, this is the flower person. This is the caterer. This is the venue person. You just essentially go to one person, and this is what you pick. And it's a lot of, you can just go, you don't have to deal with organizing all the different people. Yeah. Yeah, our cousin got married on a, a Disney cruise, options. and she said it was very, like, she was like, I want to get married, and they're like, okay, and then they did it. <laughs> nice! She's like, I didn't have to do a lot. Like, I think, you know, they picked, usually there's, like, because it was really small, and so I think, you know, you have a choice of, like, two different color flowers, or, like, a couple different yeah. spots, like, where do you want, you know, oh, I want this cake, but it was like, we just kind of showed up, you know, they got there, <laughs> they had, like, a meeting on the boat. They like steamed her dress and stuff for her. She went to the spa. 
We took a lot of pictures. They make it. They make yeah. They make it. They they make it pretty easy for you. Where you these are your choices. You pick, and then that's it. See, I'd be difficult because like so for our you know I'd love to do a vow renewal at Disney someday. Uh, when we got married, we did all fake flowers. Because I was oh, like, okay. if I'm gonna pay this much for flowers, I'm gonna <laughs> keep them. Yeah. <laughs> so like my bouquet, the boutonnieres, like it was all. It was all fake. I bought them on Etsy. I think that was like the first thing I ever bought on Etsy. So if we were to do a vow renewal, I'd be like, I just, I have my bouquet still. That's really neat. Bouquet still, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's at mom and dad's house. Because that would be, I mean, it would be like, well, I, we have all the flowers. So (laughs) I not pick flowers and, and just get a bigger cake. Like. You know, that would be my like question because I'd be like, I have all the flowers still, so like, we maybe we'd have children at that point, and I'd be like, give them the flowers, because like yeah. I'm just gonna carry my bouquet that I had. Yeah. And I think at that point we'd probably only have like, you know, we don't like all our friends, so like, yeah. it'd just be our sisters <laughs> and like our two best friends, you know as like attendance or maybe we wouldn't have any of you maybe we'll have children i don't know it's a long time from now theoretically <laughs> we don't have any money um we're going to be spending our ninth wedding anniversary at home oh well yeah so we you know just... where i spent my first anniversary disney no wdwnt <laughs> it was my first day on the job oh wow <laughs> Well, <laughs> that's true. As when when you um you you let me know, you're like, okay, you can you know this is gonna be your first day to come in. I was like, awesome. And then I looked, I was like, oh, that's our first anniversary, babe. He's like, no, no, you you like go go do it. Like we we were gonna go. We went to Universal for like over the weekend, so that was like when we like celebrated it. Mm-hmm. So we had like a nice like one year anniversary kind of treat ourselves thing, but that my my first anniversary was with a boy. with He's Colleen like, and Tom. Uh, we did our first anniversary at Disney. We 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 got married in Virginia. That's where we went to school, and then we moved to Florida. And so it was like, well, we might as well just go to Disney because like it's nearby. We were in Vero Beach, so we did our first and second <laughs> wedding anniversaries at Disney because we lived here. Um, yeah. And then, like, third and fourth, you know, we went out to dinner. Like, we didn't do anything super exciting because I don't even know where we lived. Um, For our fifth (laughs) anniversary, we lived in Maryland at that point. So I contacted the place we got married. We got married at uh, Whitehall Manor in Northern Virginia. It's like this 1800s manor. It's just owned by a catering company. And they do weddings. Hmm. And I loved that because it was, like, the catering, the wine, the linens. All the furniture, the location, that was half the cost. That was one per- one person I had to talk to. <laughs> so it was like half of it, and it was like, done. And then they gave us a list of, like, vendors they'd worked with, and then that's, I mean, we got fake flowers. And so it was like, you know, I we picked a cake person. It was great. But so I contacted them, and it was like, you know, it's our fifth anniversary, and it's a Sunday, so I'm like, I'm sure you have a wedding, but, like, if we came really early in the morning, could we, like, take some pictures? And I bought, like, a white dress and stuff. And so, ooh, look, a bracelet. That looks good, Allison. That's my progress. Cool. It's happening. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it's doing a thing. So we uh, we went to the manor where we got married, and we took some pictures outside. And then, like, the manager got there, and he was like, do you guys want a tour? And it was like, Ooh. sure. So he took us around. You know, they'd redone some of the rooms. He was like, can I take pictures and put them on Instagram? It was like, sure. <laughs> yeah. You know, because why not? Like, I'm sure that's cool for them to be like, look, here's a couple. They got married. They came back. Um, we recreated a couple pictures. Uh, and then we stayed at the bed and breakfast that we had stayed at on our wedding night, which, you know, we got there really late Cute. at night. And then you like wake up early and have breakfast. And then we like went to the airport. <laughs> Like, we didn't really enjoy it. We were just kind of like, yeah. it had a tower suite, and I wanted to sleep in a tower. So I was Ooh. like, I'm a princess. 
So we stayed there for like a couple <laughs> nights and, you know, we went out to dinner somewhere in the area and we went to like wineries and stuff and it was really cool. So that was really cool, like being able to, we lived, we had always talked about doing that, but then we lived there so it was really convenient. That's nice though, that sounds very nice. Yeah, so that was really cool. And then, I don't know, six, yeah. seven, eight, we probably just went out to dinner. Sometimes, you know, we've had to work and stuff and like the longer you're married, the less it matters. Um. <laughs> This year, I think we'll just be home. We like to do, so like there's that like traditional anniversary thing, like, oh, the traditional gift for your first anniversary is paper. Mm -hmm. And those like silly meaning things. So we do that every year. Like we found that that's a great yeah. way to be like, what are we gonna get each other for our anniversary? And it's like, well, something to do with paper. So he made me, yeah. like, a love note in a bottle, and I made him, like, a book of poems. And I think, like, your second Aww. year is cotton. So he got me a Vera Bradley bag. And uh, and there's like a gemstone associated too. So I think it was like garnets. Like he got me a garnet necklace. And I got him pillowcases that said like prince and princess on them and something else. And like third year's leather. So that was the year we both knew we were getting nice leather bags. Um, <laughs> and it goes on. This year is pottery and willow. Hmm. Interesting. So I think we're going to get, like, a paint-your-own-pottery kit from Amazon. Oh, that's nice. And that's what we'll, like, do since we can't go anywhere. And then we figured we'd just dress up for fun and, like, order takeout. <laughs> With our dog being like, I'm what's happening? What are you doing? No. Where are we going? <laughs> I'll help. Take me. I can move this we were out of the house for like a half hour yesterday. Like both of us oh. at the same time. Because my car broke down. So Rob had oh. to take me to go get it. And in that time, Snow just like destroyed the bathroom. <laughs> oh, like all no. the trash. And I'm like, she hasn't been totally alone in a long time because Rob's home with her. And she was obviously pissed. <laughs> and it was just like they both left me forget them I'm chewing shit up <laughs> yeah. but it was like oh she's gonna be mad someday we're both gonna have to go to back to work all the time and she's gonna be pissed you have betrayed me <laughs> no human why okay, let's check my progress on this one so here we go Oh, it's so nice. Yeah, so that's the yeah. chevron pattern. Oh, that is so nice. Then, Dang, yours blows mine out of the water. It's so pretty. That's what I have Mickey so far. You can see, like, I have, like, a mis... Oh, I'm trying to find the camera. There's, like, that black <laughs> dot mistake. But that's fine. Whatever. It's fine. So. That's how you make friendship bracelets, guys. Those are two different patterns. For your friends or for yourself, whatever. Mm -hmm. And you just keep going stop, until it is bracelet like Or if you want it to be like a bookmark, you can make it longer or shorter. You could, you know, have it just be like this. And like Allison said, it could be a tassel on something. Yeah. I don't know. Whatever you want. Um, yeah. Does anyone have any questions? Shannon, tell me about the internet. Um... It's a series of tubes. Someone said the black dot mistake is, of course, Mickey's nose. There you go. So ah. You guys are so supportive. Um, <laughs> Disney Desti said, I had map flowers in my bouquet. <clears throat> That's cool. Oh. Oh. Her um, wedding. Like Rob didn't want to have a themed wedding. So we didn't. We did briefly discuss naming our tables after um, musicals. That, like, huh. we had worked on. But then in the end, it was like, just print out a piece of paper with a number on it. <laughs> I don't care. Uh, Disney <laughs> Jesse got married where they filmed the Jurassic Park movies and had photos taken at Aulani. Awesome. Oh. I was going to say, so Hawaii. That's, that's real cool. neat. Yeah. We talked about going to Hawaii for our honeymoon, but we ended up going to London. Hawaii and London were the same price. And it was like, do we want to be on a beach or do we want to go to museums? Well, we want to go to museums. So, 
We went to London. That's what I would pick. It was great. I love London. I went to London once. After That's a lot Disney of fun. World, London is my <clears throat> favorite place. Like Disney World yeah? and then London. I love London. London is the city for me. It's like it's like New York, but the buildings are shorter. Uh, <laughs> And it's people true. are generally nicer because there's just like that politeness uh, yeah. that's more ingrained in culture than here. I uh, mean, I've always thought that like the closest American city really to like the feel of London is D.C. Yeah, because it's like it's a big city, but the buildings aren't so tall. And it's historical. Yeah. D.C. is a little bit more like spread out, though. Because, that's true. Yeah, it's all spread. Uh, they knew how to build roads when they built DC. That's true. They, roads the existed when they built DC. When they built London, they didn't need roads. <laughs> yeah. Um, so there's some weird roads. roads. There's some weird. Yeah, but it's yeah. cool. Like you're walking around London, and it's just like this is just a building. Like no one. Can, this is just a building. Whatever people live in it. It's just got offices in it. It's 500 years old. Like it's not a big <laughs> deal. I mean, not 500, yeah. that'd be, too, but like 300. Like, you're looking at buildings that are older than our country. And you're like, wow, yeah. we're really impressed when we go to Williamsburg. <laughs> Which in Virginia, the real Charlie Rogers said. Thing you do as a field trip. Um, and like, <laughs> the Tower of London was built in like 1,100. And you're like, wow. Yeah, it's crazy. The real Jolly Roger said, do you think Chicken Guy would cater a wedding? And I think, yeah. I think any restaurant yeah. would cater a wedding if you paid the money. Yeah, I yeah, thought so how, how... almost anything for you if you pay them enough money. <laughs> yeah, what we, we actually, um, when we had, um, we were picking our, our food out, like the, the menu. So they give you like mm -hmm. this menu and you can pick your food. However, um, if, if you want, like we said, hey, we really like the Sana bread service. Can we have that during our cocktail hour? And they said yes. So you can say we had the um, we wanted the macaroni and cheese from the garden grill. We got it. Um, we wanted the um, the blue cheesecake from Satoule Canteen, and we got it. So most of the things that are in the Disney parks, you can actually – get for your wedding it might cost a little bit more and some of the recipes um some of the restaurants don't release all of their recipes but some of them do so the chef will try to get it as close as possible the only things that we could not get is raw oysters and doll whip mm. those are the two things that we asked for and we could not get those because the the, the dole whip has to be made through like a certain you know the process so like they have certain machines and if they yeah. try to replicate it it just doesn't taste the same and disney owned restaurants don't serve raw oysters if you eat raw oysters it's from a a third party company oh okay they that don't want to kill you They're like we don't want to risk yeah it. contrary to what some people might say disney really <laughs> does want to um, make you happy like and especially if you're going to pay the money <laughs> You know, Disney Jesse said yeah. you must love the UK pavilion in Epcot. I do. So for like our anniversary, because now you know we've been to Dis. We went to. We went to Disney for our maybe sixth or seventh anniversary. Now that I think about it, yeah, my cousin, my best know. friend got married in St. Petersburg, so then we just went. Um, we usually eat at the Rose and Crown because we went to London for our honeymoon. <laughs> Back in general, we usually eat at the Rose and Crown, and sometimes I'm looking and I'm like, maybe we should eat somewhere other than the Rose and Crown. And Shannon's like, the Garden Grill. And I'm like, maybe we should eat somewhere with, like, non-French fries. I don't know. Ridiculous. And so then we um, created someone, a show. Yep. Someone asked um, if you went to the Harry Potter studio tour in London. <gasps> oh, we, I did. It's so good. Uh, we did I not. Um, we... I don't even think that exists when when you got married. I don't know. It, the last movie came ago? out after I got married, so it did. Yeah. So. We went to. We didn't go all the way in, so they had the Doctor Who experience in London at the time. Ooh. We didn't go do the Doctor Who experience. We just went in the gift shop. 
But we did go look. There is like a blue police box. You know, there are a couple still in London, and we did go like find yeah. a blue police box. Um, when we went to London as kids, we did a Harry Potter tour where like we went to Oxford yes. and stuff, and you know, we toured Filming places they filmed, and we saw like this is the staircase McGonagall's standing at the top of in Sorcerer's Stone, and this was, you know, where they filmed the Great Hall. Because, like, eventually they built all those sets, but, you know, at first it was mostly Oxford. Yeah, I mean, we went, really, when only the first couple movies had been filmed. Uh, Up through four, because we saw the tree where Malfoy was turned into a ferret. Yes, yes. Um, Gringotts <laughs> was like the Australian embassy. You know, oh. we drove past that. You know, so we drove around and it was like, this is the street where they walk up to Lee Calder. Yeah. So that was cool. Shannon has been to the street. I studio studied school. abroad. I studied abroad in London. It was awesome. Um, I was like a block away from the British Museum. It was great. But so I, yeah, I went to the Harry Potter studio tour and then when like, like at the end of my study abroad, our mom came and we went to Wales and did the Doctor Who experience there. Um, we went to Wales. That was like all we did. We were there for a day. Um, but yeah, and I also just like in my own time went around to a bunch of other like Harry Potter locations that we hadn't gone to on the tour that were like in London. Um, yeah. And Shannon worked for MuggleNet um, at the time, so she got yes, to go I to the did. Harry Potter uh-huh. experience for free. That's true. Oh, yeah. man. And they gave her, like, a gift bag. Yep. What? <laughs> I didn't even have That's to do awesome. anything. I didn't write an article uh, or anything. Just they just were like, goodness. oh, yeah, come over. Um, me and That's a friend amazing. got to go, so it was very nice. Um, and, yeah, that was, like, 20... 16 no 2014 2015 i got married in 2011 so like i did take rob to king's cross station but like it was under construction so at that point yeah because like when we went as kids the cart was half in the wall but it was just like in an alley like no one was there no one cared (laughs) we took pictures and like our tour guide took photos of us um, and so when Rob and I went, it was under construction. So there was just like a fake brick wall with a trolley half in it, which was super lame. So we didn't take pictures. And now they have a store and stuff. Oh. Yeah. So now it's like properly inside and there's like a line and like a photographer. <laughs> which is smart. <laughs> yeah. So I, got I to think go I went there cool about 10 years ago. I think it was there. It's kind of out of the way, though. You have to take, like, a taxi, like, and there's not much around that area, at least when when I was there. It's not even, like, directly, like, in – it's not, like, in London, London. It's, like, on the outskirts of London, I think. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of – it's kind of – London is kind of like Orlando with some stuff where it's, like – it's London, but it's it's not really London. <laughs> like Disney's in Orlando, but it's not actually technically in Orlando. Yeah. yeah. Um, Mandy went to a Harry Potter experience in Chicago years ago. Yeah, that was probably uh, well, maybe not, but I mean, there's the traveling studio tour. I also went to that. That's in a nice New York. one. Yeah, me um, too. That was mom. a nice one. Then and I've been to many a Harry Potter convention. Ooh. Yeah. We have presented at conventions. Uh, one of the last times we went, we were press. That was fun. Nice. Ooh. You're fancy. We did, uh, if people have seen Billy on the street, if you haven't, we Billy Eichner runs around with a microphone and harasses people on the street and asks them <laughs> trivia questions. So Shannon and I dressed up in, like, Hogwarts robes and ran around and harassed people at a convention and asked them Harry Potter trivia questions. We interviewed a yeah. dog, um, a cardboard yeah. cutout. Oh, that's great. It was hilarious. My and your husband, husband filmed us. Our photographer. But he didn't have to talk to people when he did that, he so did. he did great. So that was fun. They haven't canceled yeah. LeakyCon yet, but I'm assuming they will. Yeah. Now I'm glad we when have When is it supposed tickets. to be? Huh? July, end of July. The end of July. It's always Harry Potter's birthday. 
My birthday. Ah. Shannon's birthday is the 30th of July, so. Where is that? Um, WikiCon is in Orlando. Or at least it was going to be in Orlando. It's not always in Orlando. No. Um, Shannon and I went to it in... Yeah, yeah. Shannon went to it in Orlando before we went in Chicago. We went to it in Portland. Mm -hmm. We took my husband in Portland, and I was like, I'm never taking you to a convention again. <laughs> He's shy. He was like, I don't want to be here. We went to Dragon Con one year. Um, awesome Con is the convention in D.C., which I always really enjoyed, and we went there multiple times. Yes, Mandy, Harry's birthday is July 31st. Um, my birthday is just the day before. Neville's my birthday, birthday is, Neville's is July birthday. 30th. People didn't know that in our trivia, even oh. though we were doing it that day. It was like literally that day. We're like, what day is Neville's birthday? People are just like, making it's days my up. Birthday. Like, it's today. Yeah, I thought like, it was the same as Harry's, but it's no, the day before Harry's? One day yeah, up. it's the day before. So Neville oh. still fulfilled the requirements of the prophecy. But mm -hmm. Voldemort chose Harry. Yeah, I have Neville's birthday. Our mom has Hermione's birthday. Yeah. Colleen has Flitwick's birthday. Our grandma has friend George's birthday. Dad has Donald well, Duck's not... birthday. And my dad has Donald Duck's birthday. <laughs> oh, I have to look up what my birthday matches Which now. It's also Marty J. Fox's birthday. And Johnny I said Depp. Marty J. Fox, yeah. Michael J. Fox's birthday, and Johnny Depp's birthday. Um, dad likes to visit yeah. Donald and tell him they have the same birthday. Yeah. Not the same year, though. No. To be clear. He'll tell Donald he looks real good for his age. That's usually Oh, Mandy's birthday is the day before mine. That's nice. Daniel Radcliffe's um, birthday is like July 24th or something. It's really close to Harry's birthday. Yeah, our um, friend George's birthday is April 1st because they're pranksters, and that is our grandma's birthday. So it's very easy to remember. She turned 95 this year. Yeah. No, she turned 39. Yeah. I don't, I don't think She's I share 39. a birthday with any Harry Potter people. Mm. I, think, I think, like... Real people wise, I have like it's like Arnold Schwarzenegger's birthday. I think I have the same Jake birthday as Justin Timberlake. I don't know. Um, the guy from The Mentalist. Simon Baker. His birthday. Yeah. I gotta check my pictures. Let's see. What did I need to take a picture of for this to make sense? Um, my roommate said that um, I don't know if you have a plan for next craft corner, but she said we could do a Mother's Day craft because Mother's huh. Day is in two weeks. We could make cards. Yeah, that'd be nice. I mean, that's like scrapbooking. Look, I made a thing. Nice. That's so cute. It's so cute. I share my birthday with Jonathan Taylor Thomas. So does that mean that I share Simba's birthday? Maybe. <laughs> does that count? Switch bracelets. Nice. I didn't pre write this post. I pre wrote the sock puppet post. I should have pre written. It. So you have to do more work. That's what you're saying. I do. I also have to, when we're done, I'm going to film um, mask making. Oh, okay. Um, Colleen, there's new Tangled bags available for pre-order. 
The frying pan. Oh my god. <gasps> There's a yes. frying pan bag. It's shaped like a frying pan. It's a bag. It's a crossbody bag, but it's a frying pan. <gasps> oh no, I need it. I know. Oh, Pascal keychain. Oh, I did not god. really like the new Baby Yoda bags. They're fine. Did you guys see those? I mean, like, it looks like Baby Yoda, but like. I like the one that looks like his little carriage, and I was like, I'd get a plush Baby Yoda and put it in that. Aww. I want to make Baby Yoda at Build-A-Bear. That's all I want. And Me I know you too. can order Baby Yoda from Build-A-Bear, but I'm like, no, I want to go. It's the same. It's not the same. <laughs> and make Baby Yoda. Remember going uh, places. Maybe you... Someone said maybe yeah. you could do a pop-up card if you want to learn oh. how to make pop-up cards in the next week, sissy. That's I need to cute. learn how to make pop-up cards so I can teach people how to make pop-up cards. <laughs> okay. When is the next craft corner? I don't have one scheduled. They're not always the same day. Well. Mother's Day is the 10th. Yes. Um, I've got a gap on the 8th. Could probably do that. We could make cards. But it's up to Tom. I have no opinion, yes. no authority. I exist purely as a mouthpiece to tell people what Tom wants. You're his interpreter slash sort organizer. Of, yeah. <laughs> Wasn't that part of Jill's set on the roast? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I'm Tom's interpreter. Yes, he is. He'll be like, he's like, tell them this. And I'm like, but what does that mean, Tom? Like, I need to give people real instructions. I know. Uh, I know people like, like that. Exactly. I've worked with people like that. Ugh. For instance, on Thursday, Allison, I have no idea what you're going to do. I, I was very curious what it is. Like, I know, but I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know either. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're going to lead a family feud team. Okay. Okay, I could do that. If people don't know, so Thursday we're doing a spectacular journey into the movies. It's a great movie ride themed show. Um, Allison's playing a specific character that she'll probably never get direction on until Thursday. Uh, and I don't know what well, I'm supposed to bring in a skeleton. That's like... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's all I got. I, I know why him. you have a skeleton, but not exactly why. Huh? I I I know like why you have a skeleton, but I don't know what you're doing or what it how it's gonna be incorporated. I don't know either. No one knows <laughs> but Tom. These things are locked in his mind until he decides well, to it, share them it, with us. If it's great movie ride, I have an idea of how a skeleton would be. I don't used. want to give anything away. Um, yeah. yeah, but yeah. Latinx actually said food. anyone else creeped out by the purses that are characters' heads? They are a little weird. Yeah, yeah. I don't. It depends like, I on love the character. Rapunzel, but I don't want like a purse that's Flynn's face or Rapunzel's face. Yeah. Yeah. I get that. I like I like purses that are like not that I have any of these, but I like stuff that's like the sidekicks. And like the animal yeah. sidekicks. Or like, I feel like that looks less weird, and then it's like, oh, I can be Rapunzel and I've got a Pascal purse. Yeah, you know? or like the frying yeah. pan. Like, the frying, frying pan, pan. yeah. Because, like, if you're Shorn dressing as like, Rapunzel. I step away. Yeah. I don't want Rapunzel. I step away for a minute and come back to, I'm supposed to bring in a skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta remember it to get the skeleton. It lived here for quite a while after Halloween. Yeah. And it just like sat in the office. And then I finally took it home. And now I'll bring it back. It's just going to be Thursday. And he's suddenly going to be like, and I need you to make this. <laughs> Duck Translator 2.0. So I think we'll end 12, in 10 minutes. 50. Does anybody else have any yeah. questions? Whether about yeah. bracelets or something else? 
I hope that, you know, my explanation of how to make bracelets made sense. Flatnex Duchess says she has a flounder purse, and I also have a flounder purse. I have a very old children's flounder purse, but, like, it still Ooh. holds a phone. Mandy said I finished the bracelet. Cool. <gasps> Send me a picture. Holly I do. I want to see it. WGWNT.com. I love to see pictures Man, of the fact. stuff you guys make. Just going back and forth between these two bracelets. I'm also trying to remember to like <laughs> take pictures. And then it is yeah. requested that I film short forms of these videos so that, you know, if you don't want to just watch us talk for two hours. <laughs> so then I'll Ridiculous. Do that. And then I brought my sewing machine with. Oh. So that I can film, so that you can film the, mask the mask video. There. So who are you making these bracelets for? Are you making these for your friends or for yourselves? I'm making these for this show. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I have no plan. What about you, Allison? Do you have a plan? I do have a plan. I am going to send this to my friend Diane, who is currently in New Jersey, and she loves Ariel. So I already made one for my mom. And I'm going to, this one is from my friend Diane. So if Diane's watching this, surprise. That's nice. Our and mom eventually said it I'll was make Disney one for other friends. And I thought mom went grocery shopping and left. So Maybe why is she back. chatting? She's probably watching on her I phone. So. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought I was like, I'll do Mickey because that's like really iconic. And then Rapunzel I like. So yeah. that's why I did the other one. And Mickey's one of those like really easy ones because he's got like those specific colors. Yeah, that's why I was like, I'm Mom make... said we're back. <laughs> that's not creepy at all. Uh, Mandy said she's making her bracelet for our dad because he can see her colors. Because she said Aww. earlier she has like yellow, blue. We're going to have Mother's Day next month and then Father's Day the month after. God, I hope I don't have to do a Father's Day craft. What would it be? I have no idea. God, but that's in June, so. <laughs> Duct tape wallet? That's the end of June, too. We don't want to be still doing this at the end of June. Oh, no. Duct tape wallet, that would actually work for, like, Father's Day. If yeah. we're still here in June. We'll make duct tape wallets for Father's Day. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Elizabeth said duct tape tie. I've made a duct tape tie, it's true. It yeah. They're Our dad tie. said Mandy is my favorite child. What? What? Dad said Mandy is my favorite child. I thought Rob was their favorite child. <laughs> Not us. Not the children that they birthed. My mom, my parents sometimes will be like, Rob is our favorite child. And I'm like, that's because you didn't raise him. <laughs> so he's like well behaved. <laughs> it's not our fault. We gotta have brats. a show with our parents on. Just argue with them for like an hour. Yeah. <laughs> Shorn Forrest said, I'd vote for this craft show to continue after park reopening. You vote for We'd what? have to keep coming up with crafts though. So, like, I was thinking, like, maybe we wouldn't do live shows for Craft Corner, but I would record, like, and maybe, you know, people could join me, so it's not just me by myself, but instead of doing it live, we just do short little, like, tutorial videos of crafts, because then that's oh, an idea, and I could do that in, like, 10 minutes. Um, yeah. So we can still, you know, do crafts, and you can have tutorials on how to make Disney crafts. We can make ornaments at Christmas time, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So that's kind of what I was thinking. I suppose I'd have to ask Tom, or honestly, just do it, and he'd never notice. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I'm interested to, to see what other shows the 
our viewers are like interested in seeing like even after things yeah. kind of start Let to normalize know. why would yeah. you want to like stick around in some capacity you know we're not gonna like watch tokyo videos all day anymore but <laughs> you know if there's something that you're like i have loved this and i would love for this to continue let us know i have loved who's q i was on the second show of that i had an absolute blast doing that show it is hilarious it is fun to do and i think that the viewers were enjoying it as well i don't know if i'm mistaken in saying that so you you all let us know what you think about who's q who's q but i i really liked that well and i'd love if we were able to do who's q with like people in the same room yeah yeah <laughs> I mean, that would um, limit them who was brandy. doing it because not everyone, like, lives here, you know, but some people could still be remote, yeah. but that would be nice. Sure, see, yeah. You know. Some people Phenomenal Brandy this. said, top three for me are this show, Party with Pete, and Pressing Issues. Pressing Issues is going to stay. Ah. Pressing Issues is a new recurring live show that Tom wanted to exist pre this, and it will continue mm -hmm. afterward. Uh, Mandy said, I enjoy the Disney Plus watch-alongs. Shorn Forth said, my top five, I think, are Ride Rehab Watches, Colleen's Craft Corner, The Wolf Den, Locked In with Eric Morton, and The Cooking Shows. I enjoy most of the shows, though. So what was the last Latinx one? Latinx Duchess said, uh, The Cooking Shows. The Cooking Shows. Nick used to, Nick's done, he used to do Cooking with Nick as like a segment on News Tonight. But yeah. I thought it was more when they filmed in Tom's apartment, and so like, yeah. there was the kitchen. So I think we got to figure yeah. out a way, like maybe he could pre-record them or something so that we can have that more. Um, no, yeah, well, next I mean, we've had a lot of fun coming up with great. stuff, so we'll yeah. see what, you know, we can do. I pitched a bunch of shows yesterday. I was just texting you did. Colleen. Good. And then I was like, which one of those sound good? And then I sent those <laughs> to the actual pitch. <laughs> I will go over them with Tom tomorrow. He did respond to your anti great movie ride article. Well, oh, no. it's Hollywood Studios week, and I was like, you know, maybe it'd be interesting to write an article about why it was time for the great movie ride to end. And Tom was like, no. And I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that it, it was, you know, time for the great movie ride to be redone. Yes, yeah. Like it needed yes. to be updated. No, no one has seen, like, things that didn't age, like, didn't become as iconic as you thought. Like, you keep Casablanca. Even just the script needed to be well, updated. They weren't funny. The George of the Jungle joke was so outdated. Um, yeah, yes. exactly. But, you know, Tarzan was kind of outdated. Like, that didn't become mm -hmm. as, like, iconic, you know. You keep Casablanca, you keep Indiana Jones, mm -hmm. you know. Keep Wizard of Oz. Wizard of Oz, Fantasia, you know, the very beginning with Footlight Parade, Singing in the Rain, Mary Poppins. But I think that maybe the gangster and cowboy parts might have needed to be updated. Like, people have heard yeah. of gangsters and cowboys, like, but you might have needed to update the references so that they were, move, you know, movies like, okay, this movie ended up more iconic than this other movie. Um, I think Latinx Alien... Latinx Duchess just said, what movies would you like to have seen in a great movie right yeah. after? I think Alien needed to change. Alien and Tarzan yeah. needed to be switched out. With something else. Um, you... With, like, the gangsters and cowboys, I mean, you could have put, like, like, Godfather references. Yeah, that would have been good for the reception. Because that's, like, that's um, the gangster movie people know. I mean, Cowboys, yeah. John Wayne, and Clint Eastwood, like, that's, those are the Yeah, because there's not really, like, new cowboy movies very much. Um, but, yeah, The Godfather, that would have been I mean, been those good. are already very general sections, but. Yeah. But, yeah, The Godfather would have been a better, like, gangster movie reference, because people yeah. would know, oh, that's The Godfather. Even if you haven't seen The Godfather, you'd be like, oh, that's yeah. The Godfather. Um, yeah. You could have um, updated the like horror movie section to be. Yeah, like, there's a lot of really good horror movies. movies. Yeah. yeah. You could have um, had like The Shining or something in there. 
I mean, part of yeah. that, you know, you can't be too scary, and then it all depends on what rights you can get. Yeah. Uh, you know, but mm -hmm. the horror movie was another one of those really general areas. Like, it was like, look, mm -hmm. yeah. skeletons. So you could have just updated it more to reflect more recent horror movies. Yeah. Um, or I think even, not even necessarily about being more recent, but time, you know, been 30, over 30 years since Hollywood Studios opened, yeah. and you'd just be able to be like, okay, this movie didn't stay iconic. Yeah. But this movie is still, like, like Casablanca is still iconic, you know? Okay, so Tarzan mm -hmm. didn't have the staying power, but, like, something else did. You know, we can still pick movies that are older, but yeah. that, like... Yeah people I've still seen and still heard of, you know, some movies stuck around more than others. Our dad said bad boys section. I Bad I boys. Don't, I don't think dad so. Dad likes yet. bad boys. Um, Sean Floyd said with Fox and their roster now, I think it'd be interesting to think of what they could update. Um, that's so true, Fox. too. It's like, true. if they had waited, like, a little while... You would have had, you would have suddenly owned so many more movies that you wouldn't have to pay yeah. the rights for, and you could have just redone the great movie ride. I mean, they had already bought Indiana Jones. Yeah. More progress. Awesome, Shannon, show us yours. I haven't been working on it for like the past hour. You have <laughs> that boy. That's fine. <laughs> It's very difficult, but I'll show it. That's cool. What are you going to do with that? Um, I don't know. It's neat, though, with the arm. Cool. Yeah, I think I'll probably just actually stop it there. I mean, honestly, this would probably go around my wrist. Because yarn is also kind of stretchy. That's true. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I'll use it as a tassel or something. I mean, it could be like an ornament. That's true, too. Yeah. Little tassel on it. Can you make or, it like a hair tie or something? But I have no use for a hair tie. <laughs> you can make it oh, a well. headband. If you went, kept going. Ooh. Or I'll give it to a friend, I guess. <laughs> Thank you for joining us today, guys. I hope you enjoyed yeah. learning how to make friendship bracelets. Um, we enjoyed having you here. We enjoyed making friendship bracelets and talking about nonsense. <laughs> um, and we'll come back sometime. Let me find the schedule and we can talk about stuff that's coming up this week. Yeah. Yeah. Got a lot of good stuff. Tonight at 8 p.m. is pressing issues because it's Sunday. Tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. we're going to be watching Hollywood Studios videos. I don't know what yet, but I'm sure Tom will pick out some cool things. Um, because it is Hollywood Studios Appreciation Week. Woo. Woo. <laughs> and then at 9 p.m., Cosmic Read Live, and he's live every Monday morning, or Monday night at 9 p.m. Uh, on Entunes and YouTube. On Tuesday, April 28th, we're going to premiere some of the Stage 89 footage. Stage 89 was our event uh, when the Great Movie Ride closed. Uh, that night at 9 p.m., Ride Rehab watches. They're going to be watching the opening ceremony for Disney MGM Studios. On Thursday, April 30th, oh, wait, Wednesday, and then Wednesday night, Park Center. I'm sure they'll do something Hollywood Studios themed. Thursday morning at 11 a.m., Party with Pete, just like always. And Hello. news tonight, a spectacular journey into the movies. And then, let me see, let me look at the calendar and I can tell you more things. Um, on Friday, we're going to release more Stage 89 footage. So you've got that on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. And then at 9 p.m. on Friday, the Back to the Future of the Backlot Theater. Ah. So that'll, that'll sort of round out our Hollywood Studios week. Saturday morning, we've got Locked In with Eric Morton, just like always. And then Saturday night, we're doing a Universal Studios panel. So I can talk about Harry Potter. <laughs> Yay. Very exciting. Love Harry Potter. I don't have any Harry Potter dresses. Oh, I do. I'm ready. 
<laughs> uh, so yeah, Hollywood Studios Appreciation Week this week. Join us for Hollywood Studios themed content all week long. And Saturday the 2nd at 9 p.m., Universal, Orla Universal Orlando News Today. How very exciting. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, I hope you enjoyed making friendship bracelets. If you make some bracelets, send me pictures at C-O-L-L-E-E-N. That's Colleen at WGWNT.com. Bye.